Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Marino Guide, a simple guide for cadets and seafarers. Before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and hit the notification bell. Our topic for this video is Great Circles and Small Circles In this video, I will explain its definition and cite some examples to understand it easier. During our elementary or grade school years, we all know that the Earth is not a perfect sphere. We all learned that the Earth's shape is oblate spheroid. But what is the meaning of oblate spheroid? Oblate spheroid, or ellipsoid of revolution, is defined as a sphere that is wider at its horizontal axis than its vertical axis. The horizontal axis, or the equatorial diameter of the Earth is 12,756 kilometers, while the vertical axis or the polar diameter is 12,714 kilometers. Comparing the two distances, the equator is about 42 kilometers larger than the polar diameter. Thus, the shape of the Earth is oblate spheroid. Great circles are defined as circle formed on the surface of the Earth by the intersection of plane passing through the center of the Earth, thereby dividing the Earth into two equal parts. The key point in this definition is that it passes through the center of the Earth and it divides the Earth into two equal parts. The first part and the second part. The center of the great circle is the same as the center of the sphere. Needless to say that the radius of the great circle is also the radius of the Earth. The arcs of three great circle form a spherical triangle. This spherical triangle will be used for solving problems which will be tackled in the other videos. Great Circles on Earth One example of Great Circle is the Meridian. A Meridian is defined as a Great Circle going through the geographic poles North and South where the axis of rotation intersects in the Earth's surface. Therefore, all meridian or longitude lines and their complements are great circles. One of the characteristics of meridian is that it has upper branch and lower branch. The upper branch of a meridian is the half from pole to pole passing through a given point, and the lower branch is the opposite half. To understand the upper and lower branch, I will give you an example. Prime Meridian is a meridian passing through the Royal Greenwich Observatory in London. Its longitude is defined to be at 0 degrees, while International Date Line is a line that passes through the Mid-Pacific Ocean and rough follows a 180-degree longitude north-south line on the Earth. As you can see in the illustration, Prime Meridian is half of a great circle. International Dateline also represents the other half of the great circle. When these two are combined, they create a full great circle which cuts the Earth into two equal halves. In this example, Prime Meridian which is at 0 degrees is the upper branch. Why? Because according to the definition, it is half from pole to pole which passes through a given point, and the international date line at 180 degrees 
is the lower branch. For the reason that, lower branch is defined as the opposite half. Another example of great circle is the equator. An equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the planet. It is halfway between the North Pole and South Pole at 0 degrees latitude. Also, every point on the equator is at angular distance of 90 degrees from each pole. Small circles are circle formed on the surface of the Earth by the intersection of a plane that does not pass through the center of the Earth and does not divide the Earth into two equal parts. The key point on this definition is it does not pass through the center of the Earth, just like the illustration on the right. A common example of small circle is the parallel of latitude. It is defined as an imaginary line around the Earth that is parallel to the equator. Examples of parallel of latitude are Tropic of Cancer, which lies at 23.5 degrees north, Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degrees south, Arctic Circle at 66.5 degrees north, and Antarctic Circle at 66.5 degrees south. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any topic or topics that you want to be discussed and explained, don't forget to comment down below. See you in my next video. This is Marino Guide, signing off.